Welcome to the iClone tutorial series. Inside this tutorial, we will cover diffuse texturing using the multi-texturing effects tools inside iClone. Let's begin by selecting our Zero Man project that allows us to remove the character from the scene. An iClone dialog box will appear, telling us no standard character is inside this project. That's okay. We're using this project to load an object to texture. Now we'll switch to the scene section of iClone where we can add some props. Now we'll select the props button to open the props panel. Inside the props panel we'll open our 3D blocks folder. From the 3D blocks folder we'll double click the ball to add it to the scene. Inside the Props panel, we'll open the Modify tab. Now scroll down to reveal the multi-texturing tools. There are two ways that we can edit the texture for our object. First, we'll use the Diffuse section. The Diffuse section is what will actually appear as the texture on our object. We have two methods. One, we can launch the texture and paint it inside our image editor, like Photoshop or we can assign a new texture already made. To show you the first method, we'll click the Launch button. If this is your first time editing textures inside iClone, you will be asked to select an image editor once you select the Launch button. Use the browser window to locate the .exe file for your image editor. For this example, we'll choose Adobe Photoshop. Once inside the Adobe Photoshop folder, we can select the Adobe Photoshop CS2 EXE file. This will allow us to launch Adobe Photoshop every time we want to edit an image inside iClone. With our image editor now selected, we can move ahead with editing. Clicking the Launch button will launch the texture inside Adobe Photoshop. From there, we have the ability to add graphics, paint, or do anything we like to edit the texture. Then we'll resave it and add it to iClone. We'll use Adobe Photoshop's paintbrush to draw a simple painting on our image and then reassign it inside iClone. Once you're finished updating your image, then go to the File menu so we may save our image. From the File menu, you may select Save or Save As, and we'll be saving as a JPEG. For highest quality settings, make sure to save your JPEG as a large file with no compression. Then select OK. Now back inside iClone, we can scroll down to reveal the Update button. Clicking the Update button will allow us to load our new texture we created with Photoshop onto the object inside the preview screen. There, now our new texture is added to the object. We can use the iClone Free Cam inside the preview window to get a look at our new texture.
reset our texture and show you the second method of applying a new texture to an object inside iClone using a pre-made bitmap or JPEG. Clicking the reset button will remove all textures from your object, allowing you to have a clean canvas to work on. To assign a new texture from a pre-made image that already resides somewhere inside your computer, we can select the folder icon to open our browser. Your browser window will open, revealing a set of textures from iClone. You may use these textures to be able to assign new texture settings to any of your objects inside your project. Also, you can use any photo, any JPEG or bitmap found inside your computer. With our new texture selected, now we may move ahead and allow iClone to assign the new texture to our object. Back inside iClone, you can now see that our new texture appears mapped to our object. Again, we'll use the iClone FreeCam tool to move about our scene and view our new texture. Let's assign a new texture by clicking the folder icon inside the Diffuse menu. This will allow us to instantly set a new texture for our object. Just as before, our browser window will open, allowing us to select a new texture. The iClone Texture Library also contains a folder for tiles. This allows you to tile an image with a repeatable texture that will be able to be seen seamlessly inside any object it's tiled on. Use the image preview inside the browser window. This enables you to see what's inside each file. Also, you can switch the folder view to thumbnails to view each image inside the entire folder. Our selected textures instantly added to our object again. Just as before, use the FreeCam tool to preview the texture on your object. This concludes our tutorial on multi-texturing effects and the diffuse texture. For more information and tutorials, visit us on the web at reillusion.com.